One extra. I feel like it, it's got to be amazing to be Idris Elba at the moment. And and <laughs> why I say that is because it feels like there's nothing, not that you can't do, that you just, you feel like you can do anything. You had the the gig that every DJ wanted. Can I just quickly touch on it quickly? Like every DJ wanted to play at Meghan and Harry's wedding. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you're like even allowed to talk to this. Was there embargo or was there, you're not allowed to say anything about it? No, but respectfully, you know what I mean? Okay. Respectfully, I haven't really been going on about it. But the truth well, is... you put you know, it in the tune. <laughs> <laughs> you did put it in the biggest no, record. No, I said, <laughs> man, a big DJ ask Meghan and Harry. Just ask mean? them. Oh, just ask them. Just ask them okay, if I'm so, big or not. So that doesn't mean you played at the wedding. <laughs> No, I did play, of course I played, but you know, I just said, if you want a reference, go yeah. on and ask them. Can um, I just ask one question about that wedding? Yeah. Can you just tell me one rhythm that you played at the wedding? Just one tune. Uh, I want to dance to somebody, um, Whitney Houston. Did that go off? What? <laughs> did that go off? That went off, yeah? Mate, a lot of tunes went off, you know, Megan really? sent me a playlist, you know what no, I mean? No, she this, didn't. This is an exclusive to you. Okay. Megan sent me a playlist with some bare tune on it. Come I don't want to go into the tune. Come a few more. Come on, a couple Come on. more. All right. Oh, man. Just a couple more. There was some West Coast on it. That's what really? I'm saying. Dr. Dre. Look, I'm not going to put the business Wait, out like that. It's Megan had some Tupac at her wedding. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm not. <laughs> I am not saying nothing. Oh, well, you're saying West Coast. I got, it's got to be Dre or Tupac or Snoop. There's an ace. Okay, we'll stop. No, no, no. But <laughs> Wait, seriously, what? ask yeah. Megan and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> um... Movie wise, like what can we, what can we look forward to? There's always something in the pipeline. Oh man, um, well Hobbs and Shaw, which is um, the spin-off from. from I the love Fast your name in that as well, by Brixton, the way. Yeah, Brixton, yeah, I mean, Brixton. What did you did you come up with that? That sounds like something you would have come up. Well, with. Well, you know, originally, and I don't want to spoil it, but in 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 the um, in the original script, it was bricks, as in bricks, bricks and that's bricks. quite an Americanized thing. And we we did some thinking about that, and we turned it into Brixton and made him English and right. Brixton. Is uh, uh, Brixton is a cool name, you know what I mean? It's a cool name for a place, and it's a cool place. But as a person, it was a great name to embody the kind of English bad guy we were going for. This right. is not your average. This is Brixton. You better be ready. And so that I'm excited for that man because it's um, it's a big action. I don't get to do action in the way that this film is is gonna uh, gonna be put me out there. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, man. Um, do you? Do you ever get tired of kind of being the voice of black British actors in Hollywood? Is, is that annoying to you? I mean, I, I feel like people always want to hear from you talk about how black Brits are doing in Hollywood. Obviously, we just recently had that Spike Lee uh, comments about black British actors taking a lot of American roles and whatnot. Yeah. Like, I can imagine people are always asking you for your opinion. Like, do you, do you, does that get annoying to you? Do you know what? I feel that um, it doesn't get annoying because it's a debate that, Quite honestly, it's quite offensive when we hear things people say about black British people like we're some alien race. Right. It's not cool. And I feel like anything I say, because I sort of, you know, you know, well told story, I went to America to work, feels like it just fuels okay. the debate. Right. I don't think there's a debate. There's no debate. Like, come on, you know. Acting is for the stage. You, you, the stage is made out of wood. It's not made out of ethnicity and neither is any story. It's made, stories are made from culture. So if I tell you a Chinese story, does that mean the story is less poignant because I'm not Chinese? Right. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. So I try not to get into that debate. That's like, you know, lions thinking about what goldfish are thinking. I ain't doing that. I'm You're not, not on doing it. That. I'm not on it. One extra. Thanks for checking out this video. You can find more by clicking the links on screen now.